If you, if you come out of the uh, F train uh, at the last stop here on 179th Street, you can't miss on the wall a big sign that points to Bishop Malloy Retreat House and Monastery. And the way that sign uh, got here, of course, that this stop on uh, the subway system was one of the last stops uh, to be completed in 1950. So uh, there's two versions I heard that uh, one was that someone uh, had come here who worked on the subway system and had that uh, little mosaic uh, put on the wall. The other story I heard was that uh, one of the priests from the monastery just got curious one day, walked down to uh, the, the subway stop and said, what are you doing? And he saw some uh, Italian contractors and and said, hey, why don't you do me a favor and put a little sign up for our monastery and let people know where we are. Well, uh, we're called Immaculate Conception Monastery. Uh, we've been here since 1924. Uh, the reason we're, we use the term monastery is uh, that was the term that was given to uh, this place uh, by the people in the area. Actually, we're our origins are in Italy, we were founded there, and in Italy we're called retreats. It would be Immaculate Conception Retreat to indicate that uh, it's a place of retreat where the priests come to get away and pray and meditate, but then they go back out uh, to work uh, with the people. Uh, unlike a monastery where you would just stay in the monastery and pray uh, all the time and never leave. Your blessings to him forever. We have uh, a beautiful parish uh, it's just serving the needs of uh, the neighborhood. We have a monastery with about 30 priests who, uh, some are chaplains at uh, Creedmoor Psychiatric or professors in universities. Some go out preaching to different parts of the country. Others just stay here. If someone comes looking for uh, a person to vent to or to pour out their troubles to, either in confession or just, uh, just to come and, and speak to a a friendly priest. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, the passion is to live here, take a vow of poverty. We share everything in common. So our rooms are rather simple. We have a, a room with, it has a desk, it has a chair, it has a, a bed and a locker. And, and that's it. We have common bathrooms and showers and common rooms for recreation and a dining room. But our rooms are, are rather simple. It's a place of, of prayer, and it's also, I think, a, pra a place of faith and hope. Uh, we're, we're not a business uh, place. We're a place where you're reminded of God, of, of bigger things. His loved one from the beginning.